I'm just going to move it over a little bit because I have some things at the top. And I'm going to go into PDF Expert. <clears throat> PDF Expert is my choice for keeping my business going with my iPad and my real estate business. It is an incredible piece of software. You don't have to, you have to purchase the, the one for your iPad. It's not very much. I don't, maybe it's even free for all I know, but you do have to purchase the one for your computer. It's not necessary to purchase it for your computer. You can, if you want to, it's a subscription. I do because I like all the features, but if I wasn't doing these sorts of things, I would just stay with uh, the, the one on the iPad because it will do the job just fine. So <clears throat> first off, Excuse me, I got a little frog in my throat this morning. Um, why I'm doing it via Zoom is I've always done it hands on or in a large classroom um, where I can walk around the class and help as I'm doing it. When I do it in my condominium, I never have more than seven or eight people there because I'm walking around for three hours helping them. So this will be a little bit shorter than that because I'm now doing all that walking around and hands on training. Uh, but it does allow you to, you know, be anywhere in the world. As I said, I have an agent coming in next week to the next class, and he's in Italy. He wants to see it because he would be using it over there. So anybody in the world now can actually use it. So I'm going to try this. I'm going to do, I've got four of them scheduled, and uh, they're starting to book in now because the agents are referring each other and so forth. So first off, so that's why I'm doing, I'm doing the Zoom one is because it's just because of COVID, but if it works out well, then I'll do them all this way. Uh, one thing I want to mention is, um, um, backing up your data. <clears throat> Just from day one, this is my backup. I plug it in my computer with a USB port, okay? And I back everything up. I'm fanatic on backup. It's not whether I need it, it's when am I going to need it. So please have, you know, 60, 70 bucks to get one of these things with a whole terabyte of data, which you're never going to use. So it's just a safety thing I like to always mention is to back up. Um, now on the left down here, now you see that, I'll move my, my cursor off. You see that red circle on the screen? Is that visible to you? Yep. Okay, now the reason that's, you can use a mouse on the newer iPads. So I am using a mouse for this. And the reason I want to is so I can, you can see what I'm clicking on, okay? So that's the reason to be using the mouse. Now down here, the first thing, one of the things you wanna do is when you open up PDF Expert, so for now, we're talking only PDF expert. <clears throat> when you log in, you start here, you can go to connection down here and it'll connect to your files. It'll also connect to iCloud and you can be on Apple or Mac or Windows, okay? If you prefer to, to go into Dropbox, you can connect to Dropbox and have everything go there, all right? Anywhere you want, you can add other connections down here. I won't go into detail on that and waste your time but you can go and figure what you want to do. If you're on an Apple computer, I would suggest you, you back up to the cloud. Windows is also available on the cloud. Anyways, that's what I'm using this one right here. So when I go in there, this is just a couple of other files I have. So just disregard those. But this is my main folder. And what I'm going to do for the next few minutes is do an overview of the whole system that I created for me that seemed to be good enough that was accepted to be a RICO course. So I'm going to open up the properties folder here. I'll just click on it. And I would have three folders, closed, current, and forms. This one here is your folder I'm going to do today. So let me just explain what these are. Forms, these are forms that I'm going to use all the time. Click on that. And here's some forms. Now I've got my company forms in there, ones I might want to use. Uh, forms creations, present, you property taxes. I have all the property taxes over the years in there. Anything you want, N11 form. I don't normally download the, the um, forms for transactions because they can change. And these of course are not tied to the uh, internet so that they don't change with it. But these are my most important ones. Preview, pre-buyer interview, pre-listing interview, receiving a check, and showings. These are the main forms that we're going to use today, and it'll give you an idea how to create your system with those particular forms. I'll come back out here, and I'm going to go into the closed 
forms, folder, I'm sorry. And in closed, these are transactions that I've done. I keep every document for every deal that I've done. So we just go through and look a little bit here and let's go down to, here's 23 at Gate Road, right? Oops, I just went past it there, right there. And 23 at Gate Road too. What that, why there's two of them is, I was a buyer's agent here and a few years later I sold it for him and I was a seller's agent. Well, I've got both copies there. I don't know why, I just don't like throwing this stuff out. So let's go in and have a look at this. So in here is every document to do with that transaction. And you've got all the showings that they did. I have every listing that they saw. And here's my showing. This is the old form I've used <coughs> since then. So I have August the 3rd for John and Tracy. They looked at this property. I grade them out of five. I don't know why, I just picked five. Put that one on the short list. They liked it. Key problem, show it tomorrow. So I went back the next day, mostly original, no updates. This one here, nice, but a weird layout. So I gave it a four. And this one was a five and they decided to offer on this one. So everything, I have this all the time. So I never mistake and say, remember that one you saw there? And I say, no, I don't remember because I do have them. And in addition to that, I have all the actual listings right here. Every listing that they saw is here. So I've got all that record. Now let's say, and when they did, they called me back a few years later and said, Ed, I think it's time we wanna move. And they actually moved out of the city. I think they were up in uh, Lakefield. And uh, I said, okay. Uh, and they house the market, all that sort of stuff, you know, and you wanna come and see the house. And <laughs> this is where I really surprised them. I said, yeah, I'd love to, but you know, I remember it well. You, I remember your lovely hardwood floors in the house. They just shone, they were so nice. And, the corner fireplace, I, oh my gosh, as you remember it. Well, how could I forget it? It was one of the nicest homes I sold all year. You also had a fireplace in the basement, didn't you, in the rec room? Uh, was it a working one or not? So in other words, I've got everything with me all the time when I'm talking to them. And I just think that's good. This is true too. I said to them, how's the hot tub going on the deck? They said, oh, he said, he said we actually had to get rid of it because we couldn't stand the hydro bill. It was so expensive. I said, okay, I understand that for sure. So what I'm saying here is I've got everything all the time on all those deals. So when I got finished that, I listed the house and then I went to 23 at gate two, that's out in Ajax. Then there's all the documents for the house that I relisted for them and got it sold. There's uh, the trade record sheet, everything about the house. There's the, there's the CMA uh, here where I can show you all the pages of the CMA here. So I've taken parts out because I've actually used this in demonstrations before. So I took out some of the names and things. So now, just a little bit more about that. I'll get back out here, back up to here. And uh, let's just have a quick look here. I got a call from a guy. So I've got their house in here. I sold this for them. They bought one out in Oshawa. This is 99, um, um, oh, Felicity in Scarborough. And uh, it was interesting that this guy called me years ago. He said, uh, you've been in the business a long time. I said, yes, I have. He says, he ever sold a house with Yuffie in it? I said, as a matter of fact, I have. He said, come here, I wanna to talk to you. So I would have, he owned the house with Uriah from Aldehyde when that was more of an issue than it is today. And uh, I sold it. And then of course, and time came, they wanted to retire out in Oshawa. So I sold this one for them also. So it's funny where your business comes from, but there's one thing I also keep track of, and this is just really nice to know. I, I, I go after absentee owners, investors. Look at this, 40, 443 Mans Road, number one, two, four, seven, 10, 11, 19, 23, and 32. That's one owner. That person owns, still owns a lot more in that complex. We sell one a year. This is the most recent one that we sold. And we had a couple, offer number one, the offer number one A, they improved it, two, two A, three, and they didn't improve it. And deposits in here and the deposit check, the receipt of the deposit check. And here is the actual receipt that I sent back to the other agent with all the documentation in it. So there's, I think, is a fairly decent overview to show you 
this is the basic system that I created for me that seems to work. And I have patients contact me that took this course 10 years ago. And they're still using the same thing. So I think it works. So I'm going to recreate that system now for you. And I'm going to go into demo. Okay. So in PDF expert, down at the bottom right, I'm going to click here and you create a folder. Okay, and I'm going to call this one current. That's done. And I want a new folder. I put in the thing, oh, never mind, I'll just leave it. Uh, and I'll create a new one here. And I'm going to call it closed. I do have a remote keyboard, but I like to use the one on the iPad so that you can see what I'm doing. And one more folder. So these are the three folders I suggest you create, and that's called forms. That's the system. You build a system inside of that. That's all you need. It's all I've ever needed. So in current, in the current one here, yeah, I just get rid of that little thing, it bothers me. Let's go in there because we're going to create um, a client. So this is my current folder and I'm going to create a folder in here and uh, 604, 336, Spadina Road. That's my condo. That's where I live right now in Toronto. Okay. Also, we want to buy something. So I'll create a folder here. We're going to call it Ed and Gloria. What have I got now? I've got Ed and Gloria. The why I've got that folder is that's going to be for my buying part of the transaction. This is the home we're going to list. I'm going to do my CMA at Treb or whatever board you're with. If you do the evaluation, it's going to go into here to save it. When you list the property, all the documentation from Transaction desk or DocuSign or whatever you're using will all go into here when you sell that property. In here, we'll go documents for every listing that they looked at, all the showings that we did and so forth. So I need some forms in here right now. So for those of you, I think you're all on edsclubs.com. I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to go here and go into here. So you might recognize this on edsclubs.com. You click on the forms when you get there, you, you would have gone in here. Matter of fact, you probably went here to register for this course. So if you went to forms, you have some forms here that are handy for goal planning that I've created. A Trello checklist, Trello, maybe I'll do another course on that. That's an amazing piece of software. Here's my PDF forms. So these are the forms I need on every deal. There's probably gonna be more, but I'm gonna go here and I'm going to save the files. So here, what I'm doing here is I'm in, I'm in Safari. It works best for iPad, better than Google Chrome. I use Google Chrome on my iPad all the time for a lot of stuff online. But when you're doing what I'm doing here, you're best with Safari. And in Safari, you're gonna see a little click, click here with the arrow coming out of the box. When we click on that, in your list here, you're gonna see save the files. It might be at the very bottom down here. If it is, you just click on actions and you can move it up. It's because I want it up where I can see it. So let's go back here, save the files. And I'm going to go to iCloud Drive. I'm going to go into PDF Expert. I'm going to go into Properties, Demo. And this is a pre-listing interview. So I think that we're going to current and we're going to go into the listing. So I'm going to save it there. Simple as that. So you can't, you get that on edsclubs.com and that's your form. I just close that. And now let's get the pre-buyer interview form here. Click here and then click on the little arrow. And then we're going to go the same thing here. Save the files. It's automatically going to go right back there. Uh, but I'm, this is for the buyer side. So that's going to go into that folder and we'll save it. So we'll finish with that one. And I am going to bring them all in. 
And let's the buyer one here. This is a showing point. This is the one I'm going to use for every house that they see. So I have a record. I actually created two pages because I always said to them as a joke, you know, when you get to number 10, you got to find another agent. And they laugh, you know. Well, sometimes it takes more than 10. So anyway, so I made two pages of this so we don't have to repeat it. So if you have to fill two pages, I suggest you do suggest that they go to another agent. That's got to go in there also for the buyer side. And uh now I just close that. Let's go back here. And I'm going to bring in the receipt. The receipt, I'll put it in the listing side. The reason I'm going to do that is because the, the, when I would receive a check would be when the listing sells. Uh, and again, that's changing now too, because um, what's happening now is uh, um, we have electronic software at our company that we scan the, the check now and, and we're allowed to deposit remotely now. Uh, so that can this can change a little bit now, but there are still a lot of cases where you do have to do that. Okay, so now let's go back to PDF expert. And then here is a pre-listing interview. So that's downloading now and the receipt for a copy, okay? So let's go into the buyer side and pre-buyer interview and showings. So let's start with the pre-buyer interview. When I click on here, I'm using a pencil, Apple Pencil. You can use your finger, you can use your voice, whatever you want. I really like my pencil a lot. It's a very expensive pencil, but it really is great. So the buyer's information on here, you can click on here and you get different colors and so forth. This is any felt marker and this is an eraser. So I can start writing up here, Ed and Gloria, that's my clients, okay? You can get a felt marker and you can change the color of course on the felt marker to yellow, red, whatever you want. So you have a lot, play with that a little bit. You'll get the feel of it and an eraser here. So you can erase it, okay? Now there is software that comes with the iPad now that a lot of this can be done without PDF Expert and you can do it. It's a little more tricky. PDF Expert is simply easier to, to make it work for you. So I would fill this form in and I'll just do a little bit of it so you get the idea. Head. And oh yeah. Okay, I'll put the date in here and so forth. Um, mailing address uh, 336 Spadina, company, uh, phones 416, right? The phone number. I fill everything in here so I can have a really full page of information. Also, in here, I can fill in. You know, are they pre-qualified? If yes, by whom? <clears throat> Would you like to speak to my mortgage broker, which could be a second opinion, yes or no type? So these are questions I think we forget to ask sometimes, but if we're filling this form in, we don't forget. And, and you may want to do your own form and add things to it, but you're welcome to download this one and use it. And then, you know, if you want to increase from there, add more forms if you want to. But that'll give you an idea on that, I think. So that's a... Up here on PDF Experts, you can call up all the pages. Of course, that's only one page. So I'll just go back again. And then here are the buyer showings. Now, I'll do that one a little bit later because I'm actually going to go into the Toronto Real Estate Board and I'm going to bring in three listings for them to see, all right, and show you how to do that. So now this is the first time I've done this course without hands-on. Normally I'm working around the table, okay, and it can take longer. So this might not take as long as we thought. So uh, thank you for being first to try it out for me, but it'll be exactly the same for the future ones too. It'll give me a better idea on timing. Okay, uh, in here, um, they're gonna list their house now. In this particular market, it might be a good idea to put the property on the market before buying. We'll go and look at a few first to give you an idea and make sure you can get something. But if it was two months ago, I would say buy first, sell later. Now I'm not so sure. That would be my, my uh, suggestion to the client. So I'm gonna go in here to the, this here 
And I'm going to ask them a lot of questions again, up top up here. And I put their in for here. And I'm going to put the address in here, here and here. And the three most important questions I think we can ask in real estate. How long ago did you buy the house? How long have you owned it? Where are you going to move to? Why are you moving? And when do you want to be there? That's why they're the first four questions I have on this. How, when did you buy the house? Bought it in 1984. What a while, where are you going to? Well, we're going to, we're going to Montreal. No, we're going to Muskoka. Muskoka, good for you. Why are you going to Muskoka? Well, we own a condo there, uh, a really nice cottage. It's winterized. We're gonna live there six months and down south six months. Uh, you're retiring. And how soon do you want to do this? Well, we're, you know, we're hoping to do it now. Great. That's perfect. And I can certainly help you with that. Those, I think those are the most important questions we can ask a seller. I could be wrong, but the rest I'm getting into detail. And the reason I have this form is because it helps me to make sure I ask all the questions I should ask. Uh, and I do. I ask, you know, type, well, I know a lot of this. It's a detached, two-story, it's brick, full, an apartment, eight rooms, four beds. It's about 30 years old, two kitchens. So I take all that information out of electric 200 amp, uh, DA, double attached, pre private drive. So I'm going to take all that information down. Um, and I'm going to take a lot of pictures while I'm at it too. But one thing I'm going to do also is I'm going to take a picture of the front of the house. I'm going to take my pencil or my finger and press it down. I, I, I want to, I have to deselect up here. See those things? I have to deselect that. I don't want it. Now I'm going to take my finger and hold it down right here. And I'm going to go to image. I just took a picture of the house and there it is. And I just bring it in. Now I can adjust the size of it. I can just pull it over to here. Isn't that cute? Now I got a picture of the house there while I'm talking to them. If I want to, I can add a page to this, okay? Insert a page, and I could put more pictures on it if I want to, because I might want to use those when I do my evaluation and, and go over it. And maybe there's a crack in the basement and I can see it, and I know a home inspector is going to complain about that. Maybe you should have a look at that. You know, has there been any leakage in the basement? Do I see effervescent on the wall in the basement that maybe there's been damage? Uh, is something covering the basement wall and I can't see it? And I've had that happen where the they had them right up against the wall and there had been obviously a good leak there before, but they covered it. So, you know, pictures are a thousand words. So anyways, I always stick the picture in there and it helps to remind me about the house also. So that's my layout with uh, that. Um, so let's go back now. And I think what we'll do now is going into the Toronto Real Estate Board and uh, have another sip of my coffee, guys. We to the Toronto Real Estate Board and uh, bring in three listings that we'll have a look at. Important, Safari is the default browser for your iPad. You can change it to Chrome if you want to. I use Chrome mostly, but if you're gonna log into the Toronto Real Estate Board and if you're on a different board, it could be different for you, but I use Safari, it works better. And I use Matrix at the Toronto Real Estate Board and anybody in Ontario, a lot of them use Matrix. I know that when I did the classes that a lot of them had Matrix. So I'm gonna use the Safari. And when I go into Safari, here's the page that we just looked at with all the forms on it. I hope you use that, it's really handy. Uh, but what I wanna do now is I'm gonna go into Toronto Real Estate Board. So I'm gonna tap in here. And I get my authenticator. We all know about that, right? And it's four, three, five, two, three, six. Good. Okay, so now I'm into trip and I'm going to click here and I'm going to go into matrix. Um, so I'm just going to go up here to search and I'm going to do residential freehold. 
and to keep it simple, I only want active. I don't want to call up souls and all that. Just to, so I'm going to delete those ones there. And I'll just call up mapping. I'm doing this just to save time. It's faster. And I'm going to go into here and let's just go out into Scarberia, which I just love Scarborough. And I'm going to grab the little pencil up there. And I'm going to, there's all the actors ones, but I just want that area right there. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's see that one there. Okay, so what you're doing now is you're going to tap on that listing. It'll come up like so. <clears throat> and at the bottom down here, you're going to tap on print. This one right over here. And when you tap on print, print the PDF. Um, I'm pretty sure it's very similar to Stratus. So Safari simply works better than Chrome in this case because of this little arrow up. Oh, what am I pointing for? You can't see that. Um, so I'm going to print a PDF. It takes a few seconds because it's converting that file into a PDF. There it is. So now tap up here. Guess what? Save the files, right? So let's do that. And it's going to go into Ed and Gloria right here, because it's going to go into our buyers, where the, uh, the buyers. So we'll close that window. And uh, oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh, well, we'll do it again. But, oh, no, I get, oh, yeah, that's OK. That's OK. Uh, let's take this one here. There's another one right there. Look at that one. Yeah, I think I'll show them that one also. So there with me, comes up here. Remember, print, print the PDF. It's generating the PDF now, takes a few seconds. Now it's there, up here, save the files. It's gonna default back to the last folder that I did and we'll save it. We'll just close that window. And we'll go back here, go back here, and we're back. We'll bring in one more and show three times, and I think you'll remember it better. So I'm going to tap on listing here. Again, the same thing print, print the PDF. You can email it to yourself too, but that would be a pain in the neck. So I'm print the PDF. It's creating a PDF now. And up top, save the files, save. Okay, I'm done with Trib. We'll just close that. I can go here and I can log out. I mean, I most of that time I just quit. I don't know why I was trying to do it and be nice, but I did. And here we are back here. And now let's go back to PDF Expert. Okay. There they are. You just come in, okay? There's our listings. Now there's something there I could have done there, but it's a little tricky, but I'm gonna try and do it here for you. Take the first one here, and I'm going to hold my finger down on the address up top up here, and I'm gonna drag that across. I'm gonna copy it. Now I'm gonna go back here, and when I tap on that, I wanna get rid of all that, and this little button here is paste. So now I got the address. So let's go up here. Paste. Now I got the address for showing. If I decide to make it the third one to show, I'll just drag it down here. I can drag it wherever I want. I'll set the time later. Let's go in now to the next one here. Now remember, I'm gonna use just my finger or my pencil it, it just is, let me try it just on the pencil. I never, yeah, it works just as well. I, I've been used to mostly just using my finger. When it's there, I'm gonna tap on copy. This makes it simpler so you don't have to type it later. And it's this one here. Uh, this popped up on me because I'm using my pencil, it's okay. And I'm going to, Paste. 
that's a little bit of a nuisance um, because I don't like that thing always coming up there. Sorry about that. Um, paste. Okay, so there we go. I can get rid of that little bit on the end there and uh, make it go away. So I'm, I'm addressing it that way. So now if I go into here, into the showings form, I can then paste that in also. Hold my finger down firmly, paste, and there's my second one. I won't bother going through the third one and, and wasting your time. There's also another way to do this. You can just write it in if you want to. I'm gonna do that also, just so you can see it. Just grab the pencil up here, 55. In the settings on PDF Expert, you can set it right hand or left hand and, and to allow for your hand. So that way you're not dragging it around. Make sure you do that in the settings. There's another way, let's just try it with voice. Okay, so I'll get rid of that. Sound, no. Ah. You can put a memo. You can, you can put a memo into it, which is what I just did, if you want to. You can also, you can also, I'm just, I'm using the pencil so much, it's defaulting to the pencil more than I want. So I'm not gonna bother with it, but you could just talk into it and it will uh, also allow you to uh, put, in, put it in if you want to. Um, the, uh, the, the uh, text. Okay, uh, let's go 55 Grassington. See what happens? You got to be careful. Sometimes it'll do it. I remember I sold a house called Three Rathnelly. And he, when I voiced it into it, it said Three Rathnelly. So you've got to be careful what you're putting in there. But verbally, you can do it also if you want to. Alrighty. So let's get out of that. So what have I got now? I've got the showings. I can set the times over here in the left column. Okay, so I can say, um, here and grab the pencil 12 o'clock to 12 30 uh one o'clock to two o'clock whatever i want i can set the times and also over here i i'm going to qualify it and you can do that in red if you really want to stand out this was really nice so we'll give it a five this is about a two and a half we weren't really struck with it so you can I grade them that way. It just helps me to remember which ones we really like. You can even put notes in there. You know, um, had uh, had red carpet. She didn't like that. So if you want to put notes in there, I do that a lot too. It helps me to remember. Also, while in the house, you can write on that PDF that you downloaded. So, for instance, here, and you may prefer to. Uh, to uh, so you can put intensity and size and so forth. We use 50% intensity. And uh, we may want to circle the price if you want. That's a little bit big, so let's make it a little bit smaller. Like so, and you can underline things. Maybe you want to have it yellow. And uh, what do we want to say? Spectacular. So in other words, you want. And you can also take your notes right on here. Uh, and you could voice the notes on if you want to. Um, so we have to create a text here. Okay, and then you can go in and you can, you can create your voice and type it in there, voice it in there, or you can say, take your notes here. Did not like layout. So that tries. Um, a great way to have a record of everything that you've seen. And, and that has worked so well for me. Let me just go back here again into closed deals. Uh, oh, I'm back in the demo, sorry. Go into closed. And let's go into that 23 I gave again. If I remember, serves me right. Uh, showings. So in other words, in here, 
no notes there. There's some notes, something in there. So in other words, any notes that I took away back then, Tracy likes this area. So that's a legitimate note. That was, uh, that was uh, something that she said in there. Notes, uh, gave it a five on that one. They liked it. Nothing on that one. So in other words, everything that you show, you can take notes on them. And of course, the, the summary I put here and the reasons why they liked it and why they didn't like it. <clears throat> so they said, what about the 116 smell? I said, well, you did put it on the short list. It's, it's, you know, maybe it's a possibility. And the one before that on smells, uh, 140, you said it was too small and it needed a lot of work. Oh yeah, that's right too. So you've just got everything in a note. And uh, I know that uh, a lawyer said to me once, uh, if you ever want to know something, make sure you, you keep notes. So I keep notes on everything if I possibly can. Very important. So what time are we doing here? Oh God, we're almost an hour. We're doing good. Uh, Pre-listing interview documents, three listings, I brought that in. I'm going to receive a check. <clears throat> it's not going to take the full two hours to do this, okay? Um, I'm doing really good here on timing. Um, there's one message in the chat. Oh, maybe I'll take a look and see what that is. Uh, I can't even get up there. With, uh, here we go. Did the Mac pit based on the circle? Yes. Yes. Um, I drew it with my finger <clears throat> and it was, um, that's what it searched for, what was in that map. And that's on Toronto uh, matrix uh, system. They have the new system now, uh, I forget what it's called, um, real something like that. So we'll have to see what that's like. I'm thinking about giving it a try. Uh, nothing else? Okay, if you have any questions, just pop them into the chat thing up there and I'll uh, do my best to answer them for you. So everything, Everything is noted, everything is kept. Every property as far back as I could search is, is in there. And I can go back in and check them all out, whatever one I want. Um, what any Kingswood? That one, that was when I was in Florida. <clears throat> and uh, I, I, it, I sold it from Florida. I just started with EXP and uh, <clears throat> Now that I'm more into EXP, I really do share the business more with the agents that come in. It helps me to do more golfing, as I say. Um, now, I'm going to, let's say you sold my listing. Well, let's go back there. Demo, um, current, and this one here. You just sold it for me. <clears throat> so I'm going to give you a receipt. I won't bore you with filling in the details. I'll do a little bit and I'll change that. I like blue ink a lot. So I'm gonna put the date in here, July 11. Also there's stamps up here where you can stamp the date in if you want, you can save it. From me, that'll be Ed Robinson. The buyer is uh, Joe Buyer. Co-op broker is Remax. Phone, da -da 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 -da. and it's a certified, no, it's a bank draft. They're all bank drafts. Payable to EXP. So of course that's pretty messy. I do it usually with even keyboard to make it better. I do this right in Starbucks with the other agent uh, and I meet them to pick up the check, which is quite often a good thing to do. It's fun to talk to the other agents periodically. How much is it for? One dollar. The amount one dollar. Actually, that's legal, but who, who, nobody would allow it. The property, da, 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 and received by Ed. Okay, so let's just decrease that. I want to put the check on that form, and then I want to email it to that agent so that that agent has a copy of it. So now what I'm going to do now is take off selection. When you want to hold your finger down, you have to make sure that nothing up there is selected. Otherwise it won't work, okay? I'll get rid of my cursor. So I'm gonna hold the finger down here. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tap image again, but look here in the bottom left-hand corner down here. And you see a little camera. Okay. You're, you are now looking at my office, okay? And that's Toronto outside. And down here is my desk. 
and I'm just with you in Starbucks, and I'm going to receive this check for you. Fictitious seller in trust, one dollar, purchase home, and 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 what's I say? Oh, anxious buyer, annoyed buyer. So I just took a picture of that. Okay, use photo bottom right. Oops, I'm standing. It's hard to do it. Use photo. There's my check. I'm going to sit down now. And I'm going to crop it right there. Crop it. Done. Move it over. Move it over. Oops. I'm trying to increase the size. There we go. Also, I can also send later the deposit receipt and everything. So this is really handy. Up, up top, you'll see three little dots. I move my cursor so it doesn't confuse you. Three little dots up there. Tap on those. Okay, email. Flattened copy is the best way to email because the flattened copy can't be edited. If it, well, I can't see, they say it can, you know, things are possible. But if you send the original document, any PDF editor, you can go in and make changes. So most everything I ever send is a flattened copy. Uh, annotated just means any other work that I did at the same time. So just flattened copy, send. I'm going to send it to myself. Edward Robinson at EXP Realty, receipt copy. There's all the details on it. Send. Gone. That's gone off to my email now. And that could be your re way to receive a check from with another agent. Uh, making a copy of it right in Starbucks or anywhere else that you want to. Um, now, there are some other things up top, and you can go in and play with this a little bit. I'm just going to tap on some of these uh, right up there, for instance. Okay. So you can go in there, and we can do other things, lines, dots, circles, whatever you want, shapes. In here. There are stamps of different things, whatever you might want to use, okay? You can add your own in here uh, where you want to insert a note right there. And I'm going to make a note in here. Done. By the way, if iPad recognizes your signature, um, more data. So it does recognize your signature if you want it to, done. And that note stays there. Up here, this is an eraser, so you can take things out. Now, edit and PDF, we can retract things with that. We can bring in a, a picture in, fill in sign. Um, I create stamps, and you can create a new text stamp or a new custom stamp. The standard stamp comes, you can use stamps. Uh, you, can, you can stamp the date. I want to stamp the date right on the top up there. And there you go, the date's in there now. If you were doing the receipt, you wouldn't have to write it. And you can also save your signature. So put my signature in there. Oops, sorry. Right here. And I can make it bigger if I want to. It's an amazing piece of software. So I've only touched the surface, so, but so there's so much more that you can do. Also, if you're this way here, you can also, iPad for Realtors demonstration. I thought I'd stick that in there. So. Anyways, you can do your image and everything from there. What else do I want? Scanner Pro. Also, if you you can scan with your iPad, and it'll you can do it default by uh, um, the Apple software will scan it for you, or I'll just put a new one in here. I can also just tap on here. And I can scan from here if I want to. Um, I'm not going to get into it, but you can scan right within the, right within the application if you're doing it. Um, also, the reason I do that is that I, if I deal with some people that just don't use internet, they just don't use it, and I, I need to um, I need to um, have my copy, and they want hard copy. I don't do two copies. We do it all in one copy, and I scan. The copy and give it give the copy of the paper to the client <clears throat> and I take the PDF copy with me. Seems to be okay or nobody's complained about it so far. So that's worked out really well. So yes, you can scan everything with the scanner pro. Scanner pro, it comes with it. 
Or if you're in the Apple system, you don't have PDF expert, any blank page you hold your finger down on it, it allows you to go ahead and do a scan. And the scan is excellent. It's as good as the iPhone, if not better. So I'm trying to make sure that I've uh, covered everything. Um, signature scanner pro <clears throat> what time is it we've just over an hour <clears throat> now there are a few couple of agents here that are with exp and um, if they want to stay on that's nice but they don't have to because um, the, one of the things was that i would do this totally free but you had to listen to about 10 or 15 minutes i'll, I'll make it 15 minutes at the very most of what EXP is about. And I really appreciate you just hanging on a little bit to hear that. And then when it's over, if it's something for you, that's fine. If it's not something for you, I totally understand, okay? So let me just uh, get up here for a second. This is something I created and I would be, think about this at the very end. <clears throat> if you're curious about EXP, because it's a whole new thing, it's like Ubers were, oh my God, what is this? And look at it now, Airbnb, what, what is this? What, it's, it's the same thing, only you know they don't need all the bricks and mortar. So uh, this is the same thing with EXP. Okay, Mark, appreciate it. Uh, Thanks Mark, so much, Ed. Okay, Mark is with EXP, so he's gonna run. This document here, I created in a spreadsheet. If you have a thought that maybe you wanna know, what about the income? What would I make there? Is it more? then I would do this with you. You don't have to use your numbers, but any fictitious numbers. And I wouldn't do that in front of everybody here. If it's something you'd want to see, what this, uh, what this will do is, uh, what this will do is you put in, I would put in um, how much the average sale price in here. I would then put in the commission rate. And what it'll do is calculate then the number of deals we do in the, you do in a year. Down here, this will calculate what your net income is here and what it is with your company, other sources of income. And then we do have revenue sharing. <clears throat> and then if you did bring agents into the company, what would it mean for you? And the final results as to what it would be with, with EXP, with your company, and then extend it over any you know, two, three, four, five years if you want to. This is totally anonymous. It's something that if you're interested, I would do it for you and send you a copy of it. And I can't send you the original because in, when things change, I can't change them. And I don't think it's the right thing to do anyways, but I'm glad to do it for you if you're interested. So keep that in mind because it, it's very important because it, you hear 80-20 split on the commission and that's what it is. But the other sources of income, like I'm, I'm part owner in the company now. Uh, what do you think is paying for my new Tesla? You know, I ordered a Tesla two months ago. I'm maybe seeing it by December if I'm lucky. That's how back ordered that is. But that, uh, that revenue share had a nice share of um, support for that for me, which was nice. Now, what else have I got? I want to show you a video. It is nine minutes long. And when you see that, I'll finish. I told you about the commission share. Uh, Tony uh, Gilchrist, Tony brought me into ESP. I had my own little company, Pixel Real Estate. I absolutely loved it. When Rico did an audit on me, she, she called my system impeccable, okay? So basically you've seen my system. It's, it is, I love my company, but when I saw EXP, I said, this is me, this is my thing. Uh, virtual offices, virtual everything. This is the future I felt, and I still feel it very strongly. I have not regretted it one minute in the last five years. We started, we had 3,500 agents when I started five years ago. We just topped 82,000. But anyways, what I want to do is show you a little video. It's nine minutes long. And then from there, if you're interested, fine. If you're not, I totally understand and appreciate you coming today. And uh, Tony is the one that brought me here. But Tony, he was last minute, couldn't make it. So, but that's okay. I'll show you this video for nine minutes. Finally attract five capping agents. Then each of those five agents attract five. Welcome to eXp Realty. This is an overview of one of the most innovative real estate brokerage models today. A global Showing okay to you guys, can you see it? Yeah. This. Community designed, powered, and owned by our agents and partners, transforming the real estate experience. 
how family and agents build their own businesses while having equity opportunities in EXP World Holdings. As technology has transformed entertainment, hospitality, transportation, and retail, it's now transforming the real estate industry. There's been little to no innovation with the old-fashioned real estate models. Franchise brokerages all start with the company at the top, which feeds down to regions, followed by offices or market centers, followed by a local manager or team leader. The focus was on the brokerage and their brand, not on the agent and their business. The evolution of real estate brokerages has always been driven by how agents get paid. This can be clearly seen with EXP's growth compared to old-fashioned models. At EXP Realty, we've eliminated old-fashioned bloat by removing franchises, territories, brick and mortar, and redundant layers of management. By doing this, we've created opportunity to give equity back to the agents and have made the agent the focal point of their business. We do this by having multiple income opportunities within our model and leveraging our fully immersive cloud office environment where agents enjoy 24 seven access to state-of-the-art collaborative tools, coaching, support, and socialization. EXP Realty continues to experience consistent record-breaking year-over-year growth with a mission to reach 1 million agents globally. It all began in the United States and Canada with EXP Realty perfecting the model over the first 10 years, laying the foundation for our global expansion. Our international footprint now expands over six of the seven continents. Our core values define our culture and ensure decisions are always aligned. Like being agile allows us to make adjustments at any time for our agents and their clients. EXP is at the forefront of technology. Every agent gets their own lead generation CRM system called KV Core. For a non-EXP agent, it could cost over $5,000 a year. This industry-leading system provides you with a behavioral-driven, personalized IDX website, CRM, email, and text campaigns. You'll always be notified of your contact's behavior, helping you convert and close more transactions. SkySlope allows agents to manage their business totally paperless. This all-in-one transaction management system helps you effortlessly stay organized with your transactions. All of your important data is contained on one detailed checklist, so you have everything in one place. One of our top priorities is building our own technology. Our back office business intelligence center gives agents both autonomy and great visibility into their business. Within your dashboard, you'll be able to monitor your performance metrics, commissions, revenue share, equity awards, transactions, and more. Whether you need a quick postcard or a full presentation, the EXP Marketing Center has it all. You can edit marketing collateral within minutes by choosing from over 5,000 marketing pieces. In fact, when a new listing is added to your MLS, you'll get an email with marketing items created automatically for your listing. Welcome to EXP World, our three-dimensional virtual cloud-based office environment. Meet, learn, and collaborate with agents and staff from anywhere with an internet connection. Join a meeting or training within a community via your phone, tablet, or computer. In EXP World, agents get real-time live support from our over 1,000 full-time staff members. Access over 80 hours of live training weekly in EXP World. Our training focuses on industry best practices, how to grow profitable real estate business, professional development, and much more. These sessions are taught not only by our highly experienced training department professionals, but also by our top producing agents and teams from around the world. EXP Realty agents also have access to Workplace by Facebook which is a dedicated and secure working space to connect, communicate, and collaborate with other agents and EXP staff. You'll be able to use familiar Facebook features like newsfeed, groups, messages, and events to get things done quickly and efficiently. We understand that some agents enjoy the office setting from time to time, which is why every agent at EXP gets a global membership to Regis shared offices and their new brand spaces. Regis offers 3,000 office locations in over 900 cities in 120 countries. Every agent at EXP has the opportunity to become a shareholder in EXP World Holdings. Earn equity awards for closing your first transaction each year, capping each year. And every time an agent you attracted joins EXP and does their first transaction, 
our agent equity program helps agents prepare for retirement. You can elect to take 5% of your gross commission per transaction and buy the company's stock at a 10% discount. Our ticker symbol is EXPI. Note that some stock awards are subject to vesting. EXP's Icon Agent Program is unmatched within the industry. Our founder, Glenn Sanford, strongly believes that top producing agents should be rewarded for their contribution. There are two ways to qualify for Icon status, $5,000 paid in post-cap transaction fees or $500,000 annual GCI with a minimum of 10 closed transactions. When you achieve Icon status, you'll receive 100% of your cap that you paid to EXP back in the form of company stock essentially putting you at a 100% commission split. One of the most exciting aspects of our compensation plan is our revenue sharing model, which allows you to build a monthly leveraged income by attracting productive agents to the company. Here's a breakdown of how the revenue sharing model works. Tier one contains the agents that you personally attracted to the brokerage. For each transaction on this tier, you'll get 3.5% of their total commission, this amount is taken out of EXP's 20%, not out of the agent's 80% commission. Once the agent has hit their annual cap, they start receiving 100% of their commissions. You therefore no longer receive income from their deals for the remainder of the year, which is why the max you can earn on this tier per agent is $2,800. You can earn on all seven tiers, but it's contingent upon how many agents you've personally attracted to the brokerage and their level of production. For example, if you attract five producing agents, you earn exponential share in commissions on tier one and tier two, which are agents that your tier one agents attracted. If you attracted 10 producing agents, you earn exponential share in commissions on tier one, tier two, and also on tier three, which are agents that your tier two agents attracted. On tiers four through seven, you'll still receive a reduced share in commissions, which is called our expansion <laughs> sharing. So let's go through a quick example of how you can create a monthly leveraged income through the revenue share program. Here's you, you personally attract five capping agents. Then each of those five agents attract five capping agents of their own, giving you five agents of tier one and 25 agents on tier two. For the five capping agents on tier one, you earn up to 2,800 each. And for the 25 capping agents on tier two, you earn up to 3,200 each, giving you an annual leveraged income of up to $94,000. But note that these figures are based on each one of these agents capping, which is approximately selling $2.7 million of real estate per year with an average commission of 3%. You can speak to an EXP agent or staff member for further explanation. Express offers a revolutionary new home selling option for homeowners who want to skip the hassle and uncertainty of a traditional home sale. The platform connects sellers with institutional buyers who can pay cash and close quickly. Unlike other iBuyer platforms, Express offers allows agents to receive real estate commissions. At eXp, you'll never pay a desk fee, royalty fee, or franchise fee. Every agent is treated equally and is on an 80-20 split, which caps each year at $16,000. You then receive 100% commission for the remainder of your year. Here's the amazing part. It's only $149 to join eXp, and that includes your first month's $85 brokerage fee. On each transaction, there's a $25 broker review fee and a $40 risk management fee. The risk management fee caps at $500 each year. We're also excited to announce that we've added a low-cost healthcare alternative. Our agents get a one-on-one -on -one virtual consultation to ensure they've selected the right plan. EXP Realty continues to set industry records, becoming the number one independent brokerage in the U.S. for closed transactions. For more information, reach out to the agent who shared this video with you.